Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look how to open an Excel workbook that is password protected. So I can open it, but it will be read only if I don't know the password. I don't know the password here. I have to click on read only. I can see the file, but if I try to make changes and save them, I get this message that comes up. So how do we get rid of that password? This method would also work if you get this dialog box, which doesn't give you the option for read only. First of all, I'm gonna close down Excel. And now I'm in Windows Explorer. This is the file that's password protected. The first thing I'm gonna do is just make a copy of it, control drag it. Then what I'm gonna do is convert this copy into a zip folder. So if I right click, choose rename, all I need to do is change the extension to zip press enter, you get this warning, click on yes. Then we need to extract the contents of this folder. So I'm gonna right click on it, extract all. I'm gonna extract to the same folder. And we get an extra window open, I'll close that down. But you can see now I've got the zip folder and then a normal folder with the extracted contents. So I'm gonna go into that, go into the Excel folder, and you can see a file there called workbook.xml. What you need to do is right click on that, go to open with notepad or some similar text editor. I expand this. Okay, what you need to find is an area of this code that is concerned with file sharing. Now I can see it here, but if you can't find it, you can use control F on your keyboard and search for file sharing. Now you need to delete a chunk of this code and it's from file sharing, including that little open bracket there, all the way over to the close bracket there and press delete on your keyboard, then save and close. Then you need to go up a level and these three folders in this file needs to be re-zipped. So you need to select all of those, go up to share, zip, and your zip folder. And we'll call this sales data unlocked. And you need to change the file extension back to the Excel file type. In this case, it's Excel SX. Get the warning again, click on yes, it's fine. Double click on it. You have your file and now if we change something, I can save it. No longer password protected. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.